And we are live on you. Welcome back to Rishi Kish FM 69.9. Tonight we're doing with Shana Katonda. She's currently on the mattress on the floor. Louis McKinnon, who has a flute on his crotch and a doobie in his hand. And myself, I'm pretty baked already in this baked butter sort of. What would you describe that as? That type of biscuit? It's like a shortbread with. Very, very crystalline, sugary coating. So like a Swedish biscuit. And now, I have the joint, and um, we're going to be <laughs> doing a, um, a mini game called Sharnika. No, I've got to have a better name than that. Can I look at another game? <laughs> no, no, no. no. Yeah. It. Okay, basically, the name of the game is the same as the content, which is Sharnika says a word... That's an abstract, either an abstract noun or um, an adverb. And then Lewis will masterfully perform. So Sharnika says something to do with a feeling or a thought. And Lewis will provide a uh, embodiment, shall we say, of that kind of idea on the flute, <laughs> of all things. It's on a, um, a sort of a, an Indian flute that has a silver sticker yeah, on it that yeah. says best yeah. quality... And it's got six holes and then a top octave hole and a reed made of bamboo. Off you go, Lewis. And Shalika. Shalika, give us a um, feeling or emotion or, or scenario. It could be something complicated as well. You've just got home from a long day at school and you're starving because you forgot your lunch. Mm. And you're excited for a plate of your leftover spicy house noodles in the fridge oh. and you get home to wow. realise that Alex has indeed eaten the plate of food and there's nothing left in the house apart from fruit. Actually, usually I'd want to say something probably like funny or something, <laughs> just something stupid, but that was actually like quite amazing. I never, never thought a flute could do something quite as um, unusual as that, <laughs> shall we say? <coughs> All right, let's just that's such strong emotions. yeah, it was quite powerful in oh, some ways. That's overwhelming feeling of hunger. For <laughs> For the viewers that cannot currently see what Lewis is wearing, he is wearing a bed sheet around his neck <laughs> and a really sort of, let's be honest, quite dirty red jacket. <laughs> it's the sort that can fold into a it tiny costs 60 bag. Rupees to clean, to clean. Okay, it costs sixty rupees for New Zealand viewers. It's one dollar basically. It's not. It's not a lot. A one dollar to clean a jacket. Okay, anyways. And also some zip pants, I think. No, just the sides. Oh, just on the sides. It's not like the detachable leg fashion type. Anyways, Shanika, on to the second round. I was only run one round. We're very slow at this. For the second round, um, could you give us a feeling, emotion? Yeah, anything you want, Shanika. <laughs> Your wish is thy command, <laughs> Madam Momo. Madam Momo. <laughs> You naughty minx. Shanika, you naughty minx. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, she, she knows. Um, you find a booking for a hotel reservation on Valentine's Day. Mm. Um, on what? Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day. So you assume <laughs> it's for you and your partner. Oh shit! So you arrive at the hotel only to realise that your partner is having an affair. <gasps> oh fuck! <laughs> this is um, this is pretty amazing. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna just start with before I've noticed.
Sorry, I shouldn't be swearing on the stream. Well, we were um, just that on. That was, yeah, that was a bit more, I'd say erratic than the last one, which also seemed quite erratic, <laughs> to be honest. The scenario for the last one, for those that missed it, was um, discovering your brother has eaten your spicy house leftover noodles from the night before when you woken up. Was it hungover? Not hungover. Just after school. Was, after being on a long day at school, yeah, I think it was one of those. And the second one was just... Um, Interesting that you had an angry response rather than an upset response because when I had that oh, true. Mind, mm. I was thinking you'd do like a yeah, that was kind of weird. Slow, so, like jazzy piece, like mm, sad, solemn sadness. Solemn, but you were like, <laughs> yeah, angry, mm. angry vibes. Mm. Mm. Unusual. I'd probably be angry so much. Yeah, I'd be shocked. I'd be yeah. like, I think sadness would come later. Yeah. First, you'd be like. Enraged. You'd be furious, I reckon. You'd feel betrayed. Could we have a sample of what betrayal might sound like? Just, just a trailer though from the full movie. We just want to make it. Betrayed is like the last one. Like you're kind of angry, betrayed, mm. like cross. The last one for the viewers that missed no, it was. We've, we've, we've just said it. Have we? Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. We won't repeat that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll have a, a third and final oh, round, and we need to. <laughs> Lewis has just violated the law of rotation, but um, the joint did need to be relit, and I'm currently holding the microphone. So, Shanika, let's give us another situation. Um. By the way, for just an update um, for those that are listening, it's just after New Year's in Rishikesh, India. Um, we're in the room currently, which we've been staying in and there is a joint going so it's sort of like a hot box but the door's cracked a little bit so it's not really that bad anyways it's quite cold here so it's sort of reasonable to have the door closed Lewis has opened it and now it's really noisy and you can hear the people in the next room are having a bit more fun than us but we're also all pretty choked so that's good also Jeremy and Jacob are missing but that's not really an issue we've got flutes and shit Shanika final um what's the word Situation. Let it hit the blunt first, yeah, that'll be essential. Oh, these cookies are so good. I'll give us a cookie. Fuck, don't, do you want a crispy one or? Crispy. I fucking love the crispy ones though. Oh, you can have half. Yeah, I'll have this fucking half. Yo. Oh, Shanika just blew an O. I'm not sure if. It was intentional, but it was pretty sick. First of many. Was it big or a small one? Very big. I can't do it because my lips are too chapped. I bought two chapsticks in my bag and I haven't been able to use either of them because I've got one there. What's the. Oh, Lewis is having a quick warm up. While Shanika churns over. I think said, yeah. I need blowing notes so my hand on the phone is Shanika and she can focus for a bit. Shanika, you're in charge for a bit, okay? Here you go. Um, the final emotion, or no, the final scenario is, um, you want, I'm just going to give you the word, the word is cunning, so imagine you're a sneaky fox, or a cheeky minx, coming up with a cunning plan. Cunning. That's fantastic. Cunning. Cunning is the word. Play this one. That's, that's pretty good though. What well, was played so far? Can't use existing motifs, that's cheating. <laughs> What's this from? <coughs> 
It's a famous fucking song. I don't know what it's called. It's a very, very famous one too. <coughs> that music, that fucking... You know that song. Shark has yeah. waggled her eyebrows in agreement. Is that one I was talking about? Or something like that. But like... So much. Mm. Like we need That's to That's the thing about music. I don't you think to... you should be able to like... I don't think it should be like... Mm. I suppose. Nah, that's all good. Anyways, that's all for the segment of um, Shanika tells Lewis to play something and he plays on the flute or the recorder if he can. Um, I think. I don't know. Do you want anything else to add? Good night from Rishikesh. Good night from Rishikesh. Shanika? Good night. Good night. We might not. G Knight, Polly G, signing out. We also need to find Jacob and Jeremy. No, we should be out, Sean. Sure. Good night.